Hey guys, hey, it's me, Jimmy Lou, from the Messy Craft Corner. I'm really sorry that I didn't get a chance to um, to start this book last week. I really wanted to. And um, it's the complete sewing book. That's what happened to me the last time. It made a noise and I went to turn the noise off. There we go. Um, so anyways, I wanted to start this video last week. And um, I just, I was sick and I didn't get a chance to. But... Um, this is the book that we're going to be turning into a junk journal, the complete sewing, uh, the complete family sewing book. Listen, I dropped this one. I had ordered two and, um, the other one is here somewhere. I had ordered two and they both had very decent spines and I dropped this one and I ended up cracking my, they're old guys. Don't drop them. So, um, I am going to show you how to redo, um, the cover if you have gotten one that has a broken spine. So, um, <clears throat> you guys, good morning to everyone. All right, let's go ahead and get started. I have this old Sears catalog from I, I'm, I, 1964. And um, it has all this lovely goodness inside of it. See all the little boys and the little girls and all the fun things, okay? So, uh, what I did was... I found a page that had some outfits. You can see I already tore it out. And I I tore it out. I pulled a off it came. And then you know, I took the the little some of the little girls and um I backed them onto some construction paper, or, I mean, cardstock. And um here's here's a lady and then I cut it out. Then I fussy cut them. Okay, so here's another one that I did. So these two little girls, these I'm just going to keep to go in the sewing journal. Okay, so they're not going to, we're not going to do anything different with these two little girls. But we have this lady here I thought we could use today. And then I also have some of the rest of the little dresses. So this is why I was saying... If you have, um, you know, now's the time of year that like catalogs are getting sent to you, um, advertisements for, you know, Walmart newspaper advertisements, grab some of them wherever you can find some things that have some, you know, little children or adults, you know, modeling clothing. It doesn't have to be like old time. It doesn't have to be old time. If you have an old catalog, I'm showing you how to use it. Also, if you, oh, I didn't bring one in here. Wait. I have one here. Um, you can also do this using um, your sewing patterns, okay? So if you have sewing patterns, the front covers of the sewing patterns, and then inside, they always have those directions, you know? And they usually have them in black and white. So if you feel like coloring or you want some black and white, you can also do it that way. Now, these ones, because they're in robes, this isn't going to make... A good one but that's okay so um here we go so here's my pieces that I'm gonna keep I, I'm gonna keep using stuff from in here because there's a lot of things there's shoes in here and it's some of the things that we're doing we're just gonna make some like paper dot look there's some some gentlemen you can make a whole entire family there's some slacks you know so whatever kind of like clothing style stuff that you want to use. You can do black and white over here is in color. Look at the little hats. How fun is that? So I do have ideas to use several places from the Sears catalog. So, um, you know, you can be watching thrift stores, secondhand shops, um, antique shops. Uh, if you have flea markets, yeah, in your area, flea markets, yard sales, wherever you can find one. I picked this up I don't even know where I got it. I, I It was a flea market, I think, and I didn't pay a whole lot for it. And um, I looked it up online. It doesn't really look at it. It even had like shutters and stuff in here. How cool is that? Um, let me just set this down here and we will get cracking. So um, I've got to make it a point to, to do my, <laughs> my desk this week. So grab yourself some scrap um, pieces of cardstock. Now, you can do this one of two ways. You can glue it that the cardstock is, um, you know, has the white showing, or you can glue it that it has the decorative sewing side showing. So let's do it with the decorative side showing, and um, we're just going to glue this down. 
And we're going to do this with a couple of things. So let me see. That one is already glued onto something stable. That one's pretty. That one's already glued onto something stable. So we can fit these two things on here and they'll sort of match. So um, I'm just going to cut this off here. And um, we're going to glue it right on there because we're going to fussy cut it out anyway. So good morning to everyone who's getting here or good afternoon, whenever it is that you're watching. Um, you might be watching here in um, a private group on Facebook. That is a free group. Or you might be watching on YouTube on the YouTube channel. So if you're watching on the YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. Become a subscriber. And if you're here on Facebook, um, you probably are a follower of my page. If not, you can follow me at The Messy Craft Corner. All right, so let's just paste that down. We're going to do the same thing up here. And then we're just going to cut. We're going to cut, cut, cut. Good morning, good morning. So I'm going to just make sure that it doesn't matter if it's over everything, but it mattered if it was all over the dress. <laughs> you want to make sure that it gets good and stuck down, you guys. Good and stuck down. So let's just press this on. So this book will be worked on in its entirety in two places, YouTube and Facebook. Um, it will not be worked on on the main Facebook page because I just want to keep it all kind of um, in one place. Ah! Oh! Well, I didn't think that was going to do that because I used this before to kind of smooth it out. Golly. Well, we'll have to figure something out there. That's where mistakes happen. Because you get to be in a hurry. Take your time. We're going to use it. We're going to use it. I'm going to give her a pretty brooch or something to kind of cover that up. So these can then become journaling cards or tags, bookmarkers, whatever it is that you really want to um, to use it for, okay? If you use the white side up, you can put some journaling alarm. Yep, we're going to add some lace or something. We're going to fix it right on up. Um, it's not like that hasn't happened to me before, but the last time I did it, I used that wood block and it pressed it down very nicely. <laughs> but again, it's because... Um, it's quite because the fat, the um, paper is very old from that catalog from the 60s. So, so there's one. And then here's this one. So just fussy cut. This is something you can do while you're watching television, while you're just hanging out, relaxing. If you like to fussy cut, then... You know, this is this is a good project for you. I am not one who likes to fussy cut, but you guys, sometimes you just have to, right? Sometimes you just got to do it. Okay, so I want you to take notice to something. On this dress, um, it's showing the back. I'm going to actually cut the collar out, and I'm doing that for a reason. And my reasoning doesn't seem to be where I can grab it, but that's okay. We'll... I'll show you what I'm talking about and we're good. Okay, so I just cut the neckline out, okay? So then, you know, here's some other pieces we can do the same thing too. But right now what I wanna do is I wanna fix the lady. I'm gonna set these to the side. These are something we're gonna work on next, but let's, let's fix our lady up. Let's see what we're gonna do. I was gonna cover with some fabrics anyways. Um, so we're just gonna make it, we're just gonna, we're going to wing ding it here, guys. We're going to wing it. Let's see. I have some of this lace, but that's not going to cover much. Doo -doo -doo. Hang on. We can do this. We can make this fabulous. We can see it's going to, some of it's just going to show. We may, I may end up just gluing some buttons and things on it. To kind of finish it out. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I'm thinking, what do I have? What do I have? What do I have? Well, I 
like I said, we can do a brooch. We can do, we can do a corsage. We can do a corsage to fix it and add a little bit of ribbon to the, to the bit there. I can't believe I did that. <laughs> Duh to me. Um, I should have used my acrylic block to smooth it. I was trying to smooth the glue because the it'll get wrinkly like this did. But um, <clears throat> that's okay. Let's see. Good morning. If you're just getting here, good morning to everyone. So we're fixing a mistake. Jimmy Lou made a mistake. So we are fixing that. This is some ribbon that is... You can't really see it, but it's like a velvet type ribbon. So I'm wondering if I can't just someone is here. I I think I'm gonna go with my my gut on this one. And let's see, I might talk to the root. I have some of these. what we're going to do here. Okay. So, um, these are pieces that you can find, um, on fabrics and stuff. Um, you know, that maybe got torn and you can use things like this. Um, and that's what I'm thinking is maybe something like that. Also, like I said, we can do a brooch. And that's what this is. These are earrings. Grab some old jewelry pieces. These make like lovely little pieces, little accent pieces, especially if you're doing like the center of, um, you know, a bow or something like that. So we can just give her a little brooch, but we can, we can fancy it up with some of these sequins, right? To hide, because that's what we're doing. We're hiding. <laughs> We're hiding a we're hiding a boo boo. We did a we did a uh oh boo boo. So I don't think I want to do this one. I think this is gonna like even though it will cover it. I just think I don't know. Maybe it will. Let's let's cut it apart. So if you find these kind of things, you know, um, in bags at thrift stores or sometimes like Hobby Lobby will have them, um as like a clearance, it's like trim work that you can pick up. So let's just scoot that up a little bit. And then we're gonna go ahead, well, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna glue that right on there. Look at that. And then we will use um, maybe a little of the trim down at the bottom. Okay, so we're gonna glue that in place. But the other thing that I wanted to do was I have some fabrics. And I did this on a sample and it turned out super cute. So I have my sample sitting to the side over here. And you just want to get some fabrics that are going to kind of match, okay? So let me show you my sample because this is what we're going to do um, also with these pieces, okay? Um, look at this cute little sample that I made. So I cut out one of the dresses. I attached one of these little hangers. I am getting ready to make some packs that will have some hangers and things in it if you want to purchase. And I just glued the hanger to the back, okay? Yep, it's a private group, so you can't sprinkle outside of it. Sorry, that's okay. You can tell your friend, you can share the group to your Facebook page and tell them what we're making. Um, and then I just tore fabrics. I added some rickrack and a little flower. And look at how cute that looks. So this is going to get used as ephemera in my journal. So that's what we're working on today, ephemera. So the lady, we did an oopsie do on her, so we're fixing her, but we're going to add some fabric to give it some dimension. We just want it to kind of, to you guys, right? So um, that's what we're going to be, that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. Here we go. So just cut a strip of fabric. I like to tear it because I like the look that it gives. If you don't like the torn look, then you don't have to. Now, you can do two things here. Um, you can add your pieces and make it more full and flowing. Uh, you can add in other colors, like if you want to add in like two-tone type things. I'm not. I'm going to use this as 
kind of my waistband is what I was thinking. We might use lace for the waistband. So then just cut it as long as you want it, okay? Cut your strips as long as you want them. Maybe you want them um, a little longer. Maybe you want them shorter. Maybe you want them like several different sizes. That's what I'm doing. I'm going to work on a couple different sizes because the prints of the paper, I know it's a little hard to see, the prints of the paper is going to kind of, it's going to sort of blend in. So we're going to just make it work. And I know she doesn't have any legs, but that's okay. We're going to make it, we're going to make it work. So just cut some strips, however big or long or short or however you want them. Just do that. And I think I did like two layers when I did it. Make sure I cut the same direction. <laughs> That'd be a big no-no mistake. Okay. You can also also use jean fabric to do this kind of work. So, you know, whatever you decide. So I just tore two long pieces. This is just um, some homespun cotton that I picked up off Amazon. And I just cut it into strips. And now we're going to give her a little skirt, okay? So using hot glue, I'm just going with a line across there. And then we're just going to start dropping the pieces into the glue. And however it lands, like, I'm okay with that. The first layer, it can be very, um, don't be too much. Don't think too much into it. Th don't think outside the box a little bit, okay? Because it's your piece. So however it looks is entirely up to you. But this is has a lower waist. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to put another layer. So that first layer is down. Now we're going to do another layer. You could do two, three layers. Do four layers. If you're making something that looks like a um, a skirt, like for, you know, a wedding dress, ooh, 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 or a prom dress, you know, get get all in there with the layers. Do different types of fabrics, too, and it'll look super fun. So we are just creating. I already stuck my finger in that glue one time. I am not doing it another <laughs> it stings a little bit too, you guys. Who? Yes, this is an old catalog, but you can use new. Listen, I had new um, a store a store catalog that just came in the mail. I had it. Larry used it to get the fire going. <laughs> so, uh, but this was from an old Sears catalog. I'll bring it back up here in a minute. Um, that I cut out, I cut out some of the pieces, the advertisements, and we backed it onto just uh, pieces of, um, you know, and then you can, we're going to do something with these two pieces as well. Um, and I did some that were just like paper doll like. So I didn't do add anything extra to these because I didn't want to. But you can, if you want to do what we're doing here, you want to do it to this, go right ahead. I don't, that's not what I want to do. So we're going to add this piece right here yet. And then, you know, and just the side, is that, is that enough? Do you like the way it looks? Is it full enough? Do you want, do you want another layer? Do you want something different? I like it kind of how it is right there. This is going, we're going to fix this because we made a mistake. So we're just gonna add some glue here and we're gonna glue our piece down there. We're fixing that because I tore the paper. So we're just fixing that. And then the little red flower in the center is gonna look really cute. So, and this was just an earring. So, all right, so let's do something to the center here. I do have this, see, I have the white, but I don't think I like the white so much. Huh. And what else I have is I have this. And this is where, um, when I went to um, Michael's, Michael's had these, 
um, this is the beginning of December when I'm recording this. Um, Michael had, Michael's had these, um, ribbons. They were buy one and get three free. So I got four packs of this ribbon bundle for $14.99. And look, it had like different kind of like cording and different ribbons. And then it had some, there was one that was really cool. I'm not sure where I stuck it though. That might've also been fun for this. But um, it, it was kind of like sparkly and I'm not sure. Um, well, I don't want to get too into looking for it when I think I'm going to use this because it will match the gold in the Mystique Fixer. So we're just going give it, to give it a little trim. So it has like a little waistband trim work there. So let's do that. And we're just decorating. We're just decorating up. You got eight. I know that is a really good deal um, on the live um, video that we're recording this on. Somebody just said what a great deal that was. Um, and someone else got eight sets yesterday. So um, I just, I didn't, I don't need eight sets. Although I should have gotten all of the sets. But um, do not stick your finger in there. Jimmy Boo. So there we go. Then we just have, we just added a little extra fun stuff to that. Okay. You can also do things like, you know, add something for, for a headband. If we really wanted to get fancy, we could give her, we could give her, let's do it. We can't mess her up already than I already have. Right. So I'm just going to do a little line here. We'll just give her a little headband and the headband will match um, the rest of what we're doing. Just be careful um, with the glue because you can really, you can really do a number on your fingers with the glue. So I just want to kind of bend it a little. We'll trim that off then. And we just gave her a little headband that matched the waistband. So you can do that kind of stuff. Um, if you have some little tiny pearls, you can do, um, yeah, it's not available online. You can do some little pearls, give her a necklace or a bracelet, anything that you really want. So, and then you can trim these up. If something's too long for your taste, just give it a trim. And I just think that looks super cute. So that's one thing you can do. You can cut your pieces out, leave them as paper dolls. You can fancy them up to create some fun little tags tags and stuff for in your book. Okay. Then I took these ones and I, I'm not sure where my hangers are. I put them, I stuck them somewhere cause I was getting ready to make bundles for you guys. But, um, these little hangers I did get on Amazon. You can also make hangers from paper clips. If you are like so inclined to do so, there's two tutorials all over the internet on how to do that. So if you want to make your own hangers, you know, knock yourselves out. Um, but I just bought these cute ones. I'm not sure what, I, cause I had two kinds and, um, I'm just not quite sure where I sat them down at now. It's everything is such a wreck in this room right now because of doing so many books to get them all finished. But anyways, so we're going to do something very similar using these little dresses. So, uh, you can use fabrics, you can use ribbons, you can use whatever. I've lost one. I had one that was just a top. And then I move something and it's not there anymore. That's okay. So I have this, um, this green gingham that I thought I would use. Now look, that's kind of big, but that's okay because we can cut it down into strips to make it look not so big. So let's see. So there. So, you know, I just got four out of that one piece that we can add onto the little girl's dress here. Okay, we're going to do the exact same thing. And this is just a scrap piece. I'm not even sure where it came from. They came from um, a catalog. The, the question is, where did the dresses came from? I cut them from a Sears catalog, an old Sears catalog. You can also get them from, from your patterns. 
like if you are cutting patterns to do this, you can also get paper doll like things from your patterns. So that's where they came from. So we're going to work on this dress right here because I'm going to, when I find my hangers, <laughs> I'm going to put a hanger onto this dress as well. So you can see that's why I cut out that little, that little notch in its neck so that it looks like it's hanging on a hanger. Okay, so let's do that. And we're just going to right along its little waistband, add a line of glue and do the same thing. Just get these. Oops, hang on. Oh, this is two pieces. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Use different color fabrics or ribbons if you like to go kind of in between. That's what I think I want to do. I think I want to add some some something in between. Oops. That dried on the end. Yes, I glued them onto cardstock. I did, I did, I did, I did. Okay, so now we're going to add some other um, on there. So this is where like you can really get as fancy or not fancy as you like. There's a lot of different ribbons and fabrics that you can use. Um, go to your scrap bins, whatever you like. If I add this, it's going to make it a Christmas dress. And I'm not entirely certain I want it to be a Christmas dress. But, um... You know, let's let's check this out. This might be a little wide for this also. Oh, you know what? We can add some of this lace in there. Let's add some lace to it, you guys. So, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut right up the center. Because it's a smaller piece. Um, I don't want my pieces to be overly large, okay? So you can also take a piece of this and um, glue it along the bottom of your dress back here. And it's going to make it look like there's lace kind of sticking out from underneath. Let's do that. You can also use Fabri-Tac. Um, if you really, really want to get into it, you can do... Um, let me just. I need to see it. There we go. Um, if you really want to get into it, get your sewing machine out, do some stitching around the edges, and it'll look it'll look even cuter too. So there's some lace. Okay, and now we can add some bits of lace to this. This is it's it's um wanting to go every which way. <laughs> it's doing its own thing, you guys. All right, so let's add just a little bit here. And we're going to add some of that, those little lace strips that I did. And that's just going to make it look cute. Cute, 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 you guys. One more. And just make them look, go whichever direction you want them to go and make them look cute, cute, cute. Who's loving it? Who's loving it? These are not the best fabric scissors. <laughs> I'm just saying, get yourself a good pair of fabric scissors. I use my, I'm doing kind of like everything with my scissors. And you really shouldn't, you guys. You really should have either um, fabric scissors or paper scissors. Okay, so let's get another layer on here. And I just want to let that lace kind of stick out a little bit.
Look at how cute. Oops. I have a little glue stringer that's giving me some trouble. So there we go. And I don't know, I think that looks really, really cute. So then what we can do is we can add, you can add rickrack. Um, I only have pink laying here, but you can add rickrack. That'll look really, really cute to your dresses. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and add some lace, you know, kind of like a big sort of fat waistband of lace right along there. And then um, this is where you can get all different kinds of flowers, just different kinds of flowers. Uh, I have some that are just a little bit of everything. I'm just looking for the right color. We don't want birds. Not today anyway. Here are some little pieces of Look at these. I should use these somehow in this journal. Stick that in my bin. I'm looking for something that's going to make it look not Christmassy. If that makes sense. There we go. These little forget-me-nots will work nicely. So let's just cut this. And that just looks cute. And if you have a piece that's like keeps jumping up, that's in your way, just tack it down with a little bit of glue at the bottom, like underneath, like that keeps curling up and around. So that's either going to learn to behave or it's going to get glued everywhere. So grab yourself some of these like flowers. You can get them here, there and everywhere. These ones I'm about to use, these were on clearance. They're Prima. They're from um, Hobby Lobby. The only thing I want is one little teeny flower off of the whole thing. See, I told you, I use my scissors for everything. Okay, so let's do a little line of glue here. And we're going to add our big old piece of lace for a nice big fat lace waistband. Okay, and I am like, I'm pulling it around the back and tacking it back there. I'm telling you that one piece is going to be in such trouble. Um, you can just trim it off at the end if you want, but I don't know. I kind of like the way it looks when you pull it around. You can also, when you get this all finished, you can glue these onto tags. Um, I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to use them in the journal yet. I just know that this was something I wanted to do in the journal. Okay, let me see. I think I have one, one of those. Um, I do right here. I do have a hanger. I have one that we can add right back here. Okay, so now this is kind of. It's going to stick out because it's a little bigger than the actual dress. But um, what we're going to do is we're just going to Oops, I knew that was going to go zoom in. We're just going to cut this part off so that we only have like the little hanger piece. So on the back, let's just add a little glue. And let's just get our little hanger in place right there. Because look at how cute that's going to look. Okay, and then let's get our flower. What happened to our flower? I had a flower. Yikes. Good thing I have another one sitting right here. <laughs> and I just like the flowers at the waistband. I just think they make it look really, really cute. But you can add a little button, a little bead. 
um, a little charm, anything that you like there. So, oh, I found the flower. It's up there. And these are just little tiny forget-me-not flowers. And so there we go. So there's one. Here was the one that I made as a sample. So you can see it really depends on the size of um, the dress that you cut out because this one was obviously a little bit bigger than this. Um, but it looks, it looks super cute, right? Don't you think that looks cute? I think it looks adorable. So that's, you know, one thing. Here's another little dress that we can use. But I wanted to show you what you can do with like the advertisement pieces. So these are just little pieces that I want to use as journal cards inside of my book. So what you want to do is just cut them out to the square or whatever it is that you want to use it for and glue them down. Don't make the mistake I did on the other one where we had to go and make a a big fix it. Hold on. There we go. And just get your glue all on there. And because I want it to kind of be smooth, I'm just going to smooth this glue with my finger. That's so that I can be picking glue off my hand for the rest of today. <laughs> and just going to glue this, oops, just glue this down onto the paper. And it's just white 65 pound weight cardstock. That's what it is. Just 65 pound weight cardstock. And then all you got to do is cut it out. But you know what? Let's get this one on too. And then we can cut them out together. I think I'm going to use scissors to cut them. Just because the um, book pages from the catalog are extremely, um, they're brittle and they're, they're like, I don't know. I can seem to tear them pretty easily. So um, I think I'll just use scissors to cut them. I was going to put them on the cutter, but I think we're just going to do what we can here. All right. Just press these all down just like so. Okay. And then, then you just need to cut them. Just trim them out. So you can ink these if you want to ink your edges. I haven't decided whether I'm inking anything yet or not. But um, if you don't like that kind of white in your face and you want to keep it more vintagey looking, use a little bit of ink and just ink it up. Hold on, I have a, a ski slope there. All right, let's just trim this one up. So, and this is what I where I got them from. I got them from out of a catalog, the little dresses, and I just cut them out. So, okay. And then you can just leave the backs blank if you like. Or um, you can do, uh, oh wait, where is it? There it is. Um, you can do journal lines. Now this is from Close to My Heart. Here's the number. So you can order it. It's called Freshly Baked. It is for, um, oh gosh, I don't know where my block is. It was here. Um, you can use these for recipe cards, but you can use the lines themselves just to do, um, gosh, uh, just to do, you know, journal lines on the back of the card. So, um, let me just see what I'm doing here. We're going to go ahead. My block is not big enough. I need to get a bigger block but you can make it work with a small block if that's what you have. So let's just grab some ink. I'm using this evergreen because it's a really pretty color, but you can use black, you can use any color that you want. Okay. And just flip this upside down like so. And then just hold this out of the way. 
and press. And then you have some neat little on the back so that it's like a journal card. So that's something you can do with the advertisements from the inside of a catalog. So especially if they're squared off like that, um, I like that it has like the price and the size and that kind of thing on it. So there we go. Put the ink away, you know, and then you can also do some really cute things like you can add some fabrics to it. Um, to make little tabs or even if you do like a couple different um like a couple different fabrics along the edge and it'll look like a swatch card so um you know that's just something that you can do with those and again i'm not entirely sure what i'm going to do with it but let's take a look at the catalog here again really quick here it is the big sears and roebuck <laughs> catalog and it had it had everything. Look at this has no money down. We have men in their long underwear. And that's actually what I came in here for was something, something guy, something manly. The clothing I think is all the way in the, I know it's in here cause I've seen them, but you have all kinds of things. There's musical instruments, there's stoves, there's entire houses, refrigerators, all kinds of fun things. So depending on what kind of book that you're making, you can really, um, hold on one second. But you know, like here's like fabric swatches. So you can do something fun with those. Um, I'm looking for boys. Some manly men's. So we have these kind of things here where we can do something very similar and add some fabric. I'm looking for something that's not going to make what fabric I want to show you look silly, <laughs> if that makes sense. Look at all these old clothing, you guys. Some serious, seriously old looking things in here. I was like, I know we're soon getting into... Like, look at their swing sets. Look at how much the swing sets were. Gym set with outslide, $29.99. Gym set with six foot slide <laughs> is $34.99. And then the anchors were 99 cents a piece. Oh my goodness. How fun was that? That was pretty fun. You know, you have women in their pajamas and their undies. I was looking for a boy, like a man, to where we could add jean material, but I'm not really seeing, it could just be because of the error that this is, that, you know, boys didn't wear a lot of jeans, I don't think, because look at, these are like dressy kind of pants, and then these are like more like fabric pants, corduroy it's saying, huh. I think my best bet is going to be the boy in the with the football here who plays football in dress pants <laughs> you haven't seen it in a long time i know right i would have thought for sure like the little boys would have had jeans maybe that just wasn't am i like am i really dating myself there thinking that there were more like dungaree jean type my my grandmother used to call them dungarees well here's sweatsuits hmm well here's jeans here's bibby overalls 
some baby overalls. Okay, let's let's do this. I'm gonna pull this out. See, it's you almost have to be really careful with what you're doing with this paper because it is brittle. But um, so now I have now I have kind of an idea in my head what I want to do. So this is all about denim. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this right along here. We're just gonna cut it. Okay, just right along there. I'm gonna set this to the size. This has um the it's got the description, it's got the pricing, it's got the sizing, it's got all the things. We're just gonna trim right across the top up here. It's because I wanted to show you something you could do with like old um jeans. Okay, so here is Here's cardstock. We're going to glue it right onto cardstock. So that way we can use this for whatever it is that we want to use it for. If we want to use it for a journaling card, we can. Um, if we want to cut it into a tag, whatever. Okay, but we're just going to add it to this and we're going to glue it down. So yeah, you can get really creative with this. Diana Barker is saying to put a scarf on one of the boys' jackets. Yeah, you could make little scarves. If you crochet, you could crochet some little like mini doily samples, mini, um, just all kinds, all kinds of fun things. So, so there's our glue. And we're just going to glue it down right onto the paper. Just be careful not to tear it. Okay. So that's what we're going to do there. And then just cut this out. Just like so. And like I said, you can put it on your paper cutter, but guys, the paper is very brittle and I feel like it's just going to, it's just going to tear. So, okay. So there's our piece. All down there. Then you want to get your jean fabric, whatever scrap fabric that you have. Here's what we have. We have there's a zipper here. There's all this fun fabric here. There's actually fabric. This was a pair of Larry's jean shorts that got a hole in them. And so here's what I want to do. I'll set that to the side. Get this up here. Oops, something stuck to it. And um, we're just going to grab a piece of the fabric. So, let me just grab this. And we're just going to cut this down. Right down through. Right down straight through to the bottom. Do, do, do. I know, my grandmother used to take, like, the fabric samples. Because some clothing companies would send fabric samples. And um, she used to take the fabric samples and she used to sew them together to make doilies for on the table and all kinds of fun things. So there's really a lot you can do um, using scrap pieces. All right, so let's just trim this down. So here we go. Then you have, you got all these scrap fabrics. Just cut them apart. Keep what you can use. I know, right? I wonder where some of the models are now. I absolutely agree. I wonder where they are. And I'm just going to glue this right along the edge right here. So that the, you know, it's kind of like a swatch of fabric. But um, I'm trimming up along the edge here. I don't know, but if you look through the catalog, like when I was looking through the catalog, I could see a lot of the same, um, the same, like the same girls, the same children. Um, I could see a lot of the same. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to add this right on to the edge of our piece right here. I'm just going to glue it down. I'm going to try not to cover as much of the words there as I can. So nice, thin. My 
glue. My battery is dead on my glue thing. That's okay. We'll use some Fabri-Tac. That will work as well. Fabri-Tac is a glue by Beacon that is a permanent fabric adhesive. So when I glue the fabric to the paper, it will stay forever once it's dry. So it will take a little bit to dry, but that's okay. So right along there, and we're just... I won't burn myself this way either. And we're just going right along the edge there, guys. From the bottom to the top, just press it into place. I mean, you really wanna get fancy, you can add like some rhinestones to this. I'm not gonna add any rhinestones, lace, any of that kind of stuff, cause it's men's. But you know, if it was women's and I was doing this, I might ruffle it, I might do like a ruffle and that would be cute. Um, you can also take this and take it to your sewing machine and you can just, ooh, I got it on my board. And you can just stitch right along the edge there. So this can either become like some type of pocket in the book that we're doing, or it can be, um, it can just be uh, a, a piece for journaling. We can tuck it into a pocket somewhere. I'm not sure exactly where it's gonna go, but um, so that's just some things that you can do using sales catalogs, using some sales books um, for your uh, for your journals. So I hope you got inspired today. Uh, you guys that are here in the Facebook group, feel free to um, whatever it is that you make, go ahead and share it into the group so you can inspire others, get some pictures of some of the lovely things that you did. Um, I'll post these pictures so you can get kind of see what we made today. Here's this with the lines on the back for journaling. And these were just the plain girls. Exactly. Who knew, right? So here's the girls and here's the lady with the, she's got, She's got a lot of bling happening because Jimmy Lou made a mistake, but um, we just covered the back with it. And then, you know, this can just be fun pieces for in your journal. Now, some of the things that we'll do in the journal, in the sewing, the complete family sewing book, um, some things that we'll do will be functional and some things are going to be just for fun. Like I just, I saw this in my bin over there and I thought, well, if I pull this out, and I keep this and I don't take the stuff off of it, you know, I can tuck this into a pocket or something inside and then whoever gets the journal, they can use it for things that they want to add to. So um, these were just something I found at a thrift store or it was an estate sale where I found these. Um, so these aren't something that I have or I can sell to you guys, but um, I can certainly watch for those things. If they're from rights, so I don't know if anyone wants to try and find some, but you can also make some. Maybe we'll try making some one time. All right, you guys, I hope you have a really good day. Um, if you're following me on Facebook, I will be live with my friend Angie from The Crafty Bunch by Rustic Daisies today at 1 o'clock. If you want to check us out, come in here. There's a big announcement, So, but it will be on her page. All right, you guys, have a good rest of your day, and I will chat with you all real soon. Remember to always be kind. You never really know what someone's going through, and I'll chat with you all real soon. Bye, guys.